Hey everyone, it's Mandy Wheeler with UNR Real Estate. I am so excited to bring you to my newest listing. We're at 132 Abbey Lane in Portland. This is such a special property and a really beautiful, lovely community. This has so much to offer. It has an attached one car garage as well as a detached oversized two car garage. It has an indoor pool. It has two living rooms. It's got so much space. It has a sunroom. This is such a magical spot. I'm so excited to present this listing to you. We're gonna do a full video walkthrough tour. Let's go check it out. So we'll come right up and start here in the kitchen. This kitchen has granite countertops. It's got a view out to your pool. I can't wait to show you that at the end. This is a nice eating kitchen. This is a decent sized um, round dining table they can use here. You've also got a little bit of bonus space here. You've got the dishwasher, electric cook stove, and your fridge right there. So this is a nice big open space. And then I love this feature right here. This isn't as common. You have this sunroom space connected to your kitchen. We'll come right out here. And then you have a door that you can go outside if you want. So this is just a wall of windows. It can be um, closed or open. Right now we have the um, screens, the windows open and just the screens because it's a nicer day outside. But this is a totally usable space. You've got electric out here and a fan. I imagine sitting out here in the summer. This is such a special community. So the school bus stop is like right there on the corner and the sellers of this home even put in the sidewalk. The seller is actually the granddaughter of the people who lived here. They passed away, um, Bonnie and John, and now their granddaughter, Mary, is selling it. She has such amazing childhood memories from like just growing up being here with her grandparents that she even has the name of the street tattooed on her leg, Abby Lane, because this community and this neighborhood was so meaningful to her. It like makes me feel like it's out of a movie. It's just like such a special, quiet, community in Portland, yet we're still so close to like downtown Portland's 10 minutes away. It's really quiet here, but it's a short, only five minute drive to the highway. So for my YouTube watchers that are out of town or out of state, I'm just trying to paint a picture of what the neighborhood here is like. It's such an amazing community feel. Like my clients are here now, we were here and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do the video. And they're like over at the neighbor's house, just hanging out and chatting. So <laughs> if you're looking for community, if you're looking for a great neighborhood, this is such an amazing spot for you. Um, so right here, I don't know if you can see, we're gonna go out and see it too, but this is actually a detached two car garage. Um, it's oversized two car garage. And so that's detached, but then you also have that one car that's attached as well. So many possibilities there. This is also totally fenced in and private. Let's come back through. I'll show you the upstairs and then we'll go down and out to the backyard. So here, this is a nice big open um, living room. We're filming this at four o'clock in the afternoon. So it's a little bit darker. It's also overcast today, but it still has these big windows. These are replacement windows. So these are a newer upgrade. The house was built in 1965. So it has some really cool features like this original hardwood flooring. Um, it does have a little bit of like old wallpaper here that you can see has been painted and it's just starting to come out a little bit. So you could choose to like steam this off or like, you know, re, you know, secure it to the wall. So there's just a couple little things like that, but it's pretty minor. A little bit of stuff here on the floor that you could sand, but all all really minor stuff and really beautiful guts, you know, really beautiful flooring, really nice tall ceilings. We'll come down this hallway. This is um just a closet right in here. And then you can come in here, you can see there's a full bath located right here. And then here you've got, this is like a, you know, this is certainly still a big enough bedroom. You could probably fit a queen bed in here or it could be an office if you wanted. This is a wallpaper that I actually personally really love. It's like textured, which I think is super cool. Um, and again, you've got these replacement windows and your closet right here. We'll come in here. This 
in here is the second bedroom. This also could fit a queen size bed in here. And this has the window out into the backyard that shows you the pool. And your closet's right there. And then you've got your third bedroom all right here. This is a full size bed for reference, but you could definitely fit a queen or po possibly even a king in this room as well with a closet for you as well. So yeah, nice updated space. We'll come around, let's go downstairs and check out the bottom level and then we'll go out to the backyard. So this space has major potential. It's technically um, finished down here. So the whole house is just under 1900 square feet. This has got a tile floor. It's got this um, fireplace insert right here, which is cool. And it's just like this big, like second living room. I mean, you could choose to do with it what you want. And um, we're technically underground, but like barely at all. Like, I mean, I feel like maybe we're level with the ground right there. Um, maybe slightly underground under here but really clean, fresh feeling space. I don't smell any mold or mildew. I mean, certainly you could have a building inspection, but it just feels like a really dry, easy space down here that is a little bit dated, but has major potential to be finished off how you want. And then we'll come through here. This is where they have the laundry. Their oil tank is also housed right here. Here is the attached one car garage. You can check that out. I think that this space has major potential. Like certainly you could leave it as a one car garage or maybe you're an artist and you want an art space or a workshop or maybe you collect motorcycles, who knows? You have all this space here for you. But it also like is already attached to the house. So I feel like if you wanted more finished space, you could potentially use this since you also have a detached two car garage. This could be made as part of like the living space if you wanted more space because you already have another garage that we're gonna go check out, let's go. <laughs> and then this is kind of just like a mudroom area with a lot of storage. You have a full bath right here that you can check out. I actually really love that this bathroom is here because it's right next to where you go to go to the pool. So I imagine like if you're coming in from the pool and have to go to the bathroom or want to shower, you have one right there. And then look at this dreamy backyard. This is a totally fenced in space. They even like made it private by putting like this like black paneling over the fence. So like this is like, completely private. You have this huge, beautiful in-ground pool. This had been closed for a couple of years and I actually had them open it for the video just so you guys could see. It's not fully cleaned yet. Like you can see maybe in the video, it's just a little bit cloudy, um, but it's just showing you that, you know, as far as we can tell, the liner is good. They swam in this like a couple years ago and we're just getting it cleaned so you can visualize and see the pool space before we close it down for the winter. It is mid-October, so it's clear that, you know, the season is ending, but we wanted to open this up for you so you could see it. You also have these two um, spaces here. This is just like a little, you know, um, outbuilding here for you to store maybe garden shed stuff sort of vibes. And then this shed over here is your um, pool. It's like all your pool equipment is in there, your pool pump. So again, this is a big oversized corner lot. You have a really nice big backyard. You can really see how big the house is from the back here. And then let's go around and check out the other garage. So this was built in 2009. They put in the pool in approximately like 2007-ish. Um, so both of these things are fairly new. And then we come in and I just love the space. This is a gigantic oversized two car garage. So, you know, maybe you have cars you wanna store in the garage, cool. Maybe you wanna check with the town about making this an in-law apartment and having this huge other space for potential income or family or whatever. You just have so many options. I love that this structure exists and I would encourage you to check with the town about what you could do with it. I mean, maybe you just want it as a garage and you just leave it at that. Or maybe you see the potential of having this be an additional space. Like if it was, you know, 
a rental or something, they would have a pool for use, which would be really cool. Okay, so now let's just go outside. I'm gonna open the garage door and we'll just go out and just check out the neighborhood a little bit. So special. It fall, this is like the most glorious fall I can remember. I am born and raised in Maine. I've lived here my whole life and the foliage is just like off the charts right now. So lots of really beautiful houses, really quiet community. Again, we're on this oversized corner lot. I can hear children playing right now in the distance. There's a um, just like a one street over, or two streets over. There's also just like all of this like new build, like newer, really nicer homes, construction. So there's Q, a gentleman walking his dog. Really sweet, beautiful, like suburban vibes, right? Not too far from the city. We're in Portland, Maine. We're in, you know, Portland, the Maine's biggest city, but we're still out in this quiet little community. It's so special here. I hear the birds chirping and the kids playing. Thank you so much for touring this listing with me. I'm so excited you came along and you checked it out. If you're interested in this listing and you don't already have a realtor, you can reach out to me directly. My name is Mandy. I own UNR Real Estate, stands for urban and rural, like the city and the country. And I can be reached at 207-333-1050. Thank you for watching.